Hello friends, in today's video demonstration, we are going to see how to deploy software restriction policy in Windows Server 2016 Active Directory. For this demo, I have a domain controller running on Windows Server 2016 Technical Preview 4 and a client that is a part of our domain running Windows 10 Evolution Edition. So first of all, let's discuss about software restriction policy. Software restriction policy is used to restrict the access of newly installed programs or pre-installed Windows based programs. Organization can deploy the software restriction policy to restrict all the softwares that users is not allowed to access. Let's take a scenario to understand software restriction policy in detail. Let's assume that some users have installed VLC Media Player on their desktops and we want to restrict their access on VLC Media Player by deploying software restriction policy. For demonstration purpose, under Active Directory, we can see I have already created one OU named Client Computers and I store the computer account under of OU because software restriction policy is a computer based settings and therefore you have to move all your computer account under the OU while you want to attach the GPO. Now in the next step, we want to create a group policy object in a group policy management console. So for that, we have to open a group policy management console. To do that, open SOM manager, on SOM manager, click on tools, select group policy management. This will open a group policy management console. On a group policy management console, expand your forest, expand domains, expand your domain. In our case, it is mprtv.local. Under your domain, select the OU where you want to attach the GPU. And just right click on it and select create a GPU on this domain and link it here. Now specify the name of new group policy object. Now specify the name software restriction GPU and then click on OK. Now this is the our GPU. This newly created GPU is like an empty template. We have to edit and define the settings. And for that, we have to just right click on uh, the newly created GPU and select edit. This will open a group policy management editor console on a group policy management editor console under computer configuration, expand policies, under policies, expand windows settings, under windows settings, expand security settings and under security settings, you will see a software restriction policy. And as you can see, there is a no software restriction policies are defined. Now let's uh, right click on software restriction policy and select new software restriction policies. This will create a built-in rules under software restriction policies. As you can see, we have a security levels. There are total three security levels. Disallow, basic user and unrestricted. Now click on additional rules. As you can see here, we have a two by default rules created under additional rules. So let's create a new rule. And for that, you have to right click on additional rules select new path rule and here let's click on a browse expand this vc expand c drive under program file x86 here we have a video lane and from video lane under vlc select vlc now this is the path of uh, our vlc media player you have to enter the local path of our application which uh, we want to restrict and you have to select the security level to disallow. The local path of VLC media player in our example is C colon slash program files x86 video lens slash VLC slash VLC dot exe. Normally users install the software on a default path which automatically gets selected while the installation. If the VLC media player is installed other than the default location, in that case, software restriction policy would not able to restrict the access of VLC media player. In a uh, description, you can give a details about this uh, deploy GPU. Now just click on apply and click on OK. Now as you can see, this is the uh, rule which we created. Now this is the C colon slash program file x86 video line slash VLC slash VLC.exe and this is the path rule and the security level is disallowed. So that's it. Now let's uh, close the group policy management editor console and let's close the group policy management console. Now this is the testing time. Let's uh, going back on our client computer. 
So this is the our client computer and uh, on a client computer already I log in as our user Jason Roy and if we try to open VLC media player right now our user is able to access the VLC media player on this computer. Now let's update the uh, group policy on a computer. Let's type a command gp update slash force to update the group policy on this computer. So as you can see the group policy is updated on this computer. Let's click on close to close this command prompt and now let's try to open a VLC media player again. Now as you can see still user is able to access the VLC media player because this is the computer based policy and once you attach a group policy object to your OU you have to restart your computer and then the policy will be apply on your computer. So let's restart the computer. So once your computer restarts, let's again log in with our user named Justin Roy. Once you log into your Windows 10 computer, now let's try to access VLC Media Player by double clicking on the shortcut. And as you can see, we are getting an error message. Your system administrator has blocked this program. For more information, contact your system administrator. This confirms that the software restriction policy is working. Now let's click on OK and let's try to open uh, File Explorer and let's click on this PC. Double click on a C drive. Let's going on inside the program files. Video LAN, VLC and let's manually try to access VLC.exe. But still you will receive an error. Your system administrator has blocked this program. For more information contact your system administrator. So as you can see now user is not able to access the VLC media player on this computer. So this is the way how you can deploy software restriction policy on client computers. So that's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.